how to compare two Excel sheets using VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is one of the most useful functions in Excel and I find that I use it frequently when comparing data or consolidating it. So VLOOKUP stands for a vertical lookup, uh, which means that I'm looking up numbers in a column and I can use it to compare one set of data with another. So in this example, I have a list of names and uh, the number of children with those names in 1990. And I have another sheet, again with a list of names and the number of children for 2000. So what I want to do now is for each name, compare how many children had the name in 1990 with the number of children who had the same name in the year 2000. So for this, I will use VLOOKUP to bring the value from the uh, 2000 uh, sheet. A few things to remember when using VLOOKUP. Uh, the table that is being referred or the data set that is being referred must always be sorted. Uh, that is one, uh, the first thing. And secondly, the key or the uh, value on which I am going to uh, join or uh, the value I'm going to use for looking up should also preferably be unique. Otherwise, you may not get the desired result. And that column must also be the leftmost column in the data set that I'm selecting. So here, of course, VLOOKUP is possible only if both the data sets have a common field, which I call, uh, which is called a key. In this case, it is the name. So what Excel is going to do is it's going to pick up this name and go to the 2000 data set, find another row with that same name, and then return whatever value I specify. So this will be clearer if I start with the uh, entering the formula. So I'm going to use the uh, wizard. For that, I go to formulas lookup and reference and select uh, VLOOKUP. So this opens the wizard which helps me uh, specify the values. So first I have to specify the lookup value. This is the key. So here in this case it is the name. So I select the first one. Then secondly I have to uh, specify the table array. This is the array or the data set which I am going to refer. In this case it is from the year 2000 and I select this entire range. Now, next I have to refer the column index number. Now, this refers to the value that I want returned from the function. In this case, since I've got two columns, I want the second column. So I will enter two here. For range lookup, I can either enter true or false. True will uh, find an approximate match and false will get you an exact match. Here I'm looking for exact matches. So I'm going to type false here and say OK. So now, of course, uh, this is showing an error because this name, uh, Arika, is obviously not there in the uh, 2000 or on the 2000 data sheet. So it returns an error. Uh, this is not exactly what I want, so I would prefer it to return a zero. In case it cannot find the name, I wanted to uh, enter a zero instead of putting this error message. So for that, I can do, uh, I can add a new function called if error. So I'm saying if this function, the VLOOKUP function returns an error, I put a comma here, I wanted to enter zero and close the brackets and say enter. So now I see that it could not find this name, and so it has entered a zero here. Now before copying this, of course, I have to make the range constant because I don't want the values changing when I copy it down. So I select the range. This is from the sheet 2000, the starting cell and the end of ending cell. So I've made that constant. So now I am ready to copy this. So I will use control C and control and then select the rest of the data and press control V. So there I have it. I've referred for each one of these. I can see uh, the data for the year 2000. Now, just as a last step, which is not really part of the VLOOKUP function, but makes it easier to analyze, I'm just going to quickly sort the data. I select it, go to data, click sort. I want it sorted by the number of children for two, the year 2000 and say OK. And then I can filter this to get to remove the zeros and see the data. So, 
So this is how to use VLOOKUP uh, in Excel to compare two sheets. Please refer the appended article for more information.